Hello YouTube, Evil Twin X here again to show you a new toy. Picked up this Craftsman 10 inch bandsaw. Uh, I think a bandsaw is, seems to be a very versatile tool that everybody always says that would be the last tool they would ever get rid of. Uh, and I got this, I should have done a little bit more research. I specifically got this to cut some of my scrap aluminum so it would fit in my little crucible for my foundry. And uh, this is my crucible. So I need to cut down some of the scraps I have so I can fit in this so it would fit in my foundry and I can, my furnace and I can melt it. Uh, but <clears throat> my lack of research, I did not know that you need different speeds for cutting different material. I should have known that. So a wood bandsaw travels at a much faster speed. But a lot of people that have this said that you can get away with cutting aluminum on it if you feed it slow and because aluminum is kind of soft. So I would return it. However, I bought a bunch of custom blades for this, which added up. So I would be out a bit of money. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then I'll figure something out. But uh, having a bandsaw in my little shop would be helpful for cutting wood anyway. So I'm going to unpack this and set it up. This was delivered and it was a little bit beat up. So I'm a little worried that there might be damage. But I've been so busy. I've had this for about a month and this is the first time I'm touching it. All right, directions, I believe this is a fence guard. Nice cast iron plate. Bag of miscellaneous parts, knobs, screws. So it looks like it's uh, not damaged, but let's take a closer look. Sucker's heavy. All right, there she is, uh, just sitting on the bench. Everything looks good. I don't see any damage, so I'm grateful for that. There's a few things on this bandsaw that I did like. Uh, one, as a brush to clean the the wheel. I could tell it's been balanced. There's a weight here. Uh, there's a dust port at the bottom over here to hook up your shop vac to keep the dust down. Uh, this isn't all metal. This isn't, these aren't plastic. This is actually sheet metal. Another thing that I liked about this bandsaw was it came with actual bearings, uh, even for the thrust bearings, uh, for both top and bottom. And instead of those, a cooling block. So I don't know why. I just uh, prefer these bearings over those blocks. All right, since I'm going to be using this to cut metal, uh, I'm going to change out the blade before I do anything. And I wrote this uh, procedure so I can follow. And uh, here's my setup. Make sure, very important, unplug the power cord. But because I haven't used this yet, uh, it's not plugged in. But what I'm going to do is blade replacement and tracking. So I'm going to take off the old blade and put on a new one. And so I had bought several of these new bimetal blades uh, with different TPI. With the metal that I'm going to be cutting, which is about an eighth inch, inch thick, uh, a 14 TPI between 10 and 14 is the optimal teeth per inch. So this is actually a 10. Now, I did make a mistake. I thought I ordered a wider blade. This is only a quarter inch, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. So it's a little hard to see, but that blade is about in the center of the wheel. So 
These are the side bearings. The thrust bearing is in the back, which is, oops, see it right in there? I'll swing around the back so you can get a better look. There it is. That's the thrust bearing. So we need to adjust that. So according to the sheet, I set everything up. I adjusted the thrust bearings, which should be about a 16th inch from the back of the blade. And both of them should not spin when you turn the blade. They should both spin when you lightly touch the blade. And I adjusted the upper and lower bearings. And once again, those should be about a 16th of an inch behind the blade gullet. Gullet is the deepest part of the blade. So here's your top of your tooth all the way down. So this valley is called the gullet. And, they sh and all of them should not spin when you're turning the blade. And that's what I did. So uh, I have everything adjusted, uh, both top and bottom. I have my tension just right and the blade is tracking true and I'm going to move on to setting up the rest of the band saw. It's just a three quarter inch plywood, but that went through it like really fast. So now the true test is I have this uh, eighth, eighth inch piece of aluminum, nice big sheet. It came off an Apple computer and I need to rip it down or cut it down so it fits in the crucible. So I'm gonna give this a shot, see how we go. So there you go. You can cut metal with a wood bandsaw, at least eighth inch aluminum, which is soft, with no problem. Uh, it would be interesting to see how the bandsaw does with a hard drive case. I have a bunch of these, and also I have a bunch of this quarter inch thick aluminum. Uh, I would change out the blade to an appropriate TPI blade for that. But if this is any indication on how the saw will do, I think I'll be just fine. Just got to feed it slow and steady. All right, I couldn't help myself. I took the time and put in a half inch six TPI blade because I wanted to see how it would do on this quarter inch aluminum plate. Uh, it went to an old monitor stand. So I'm mentioning to try out, <clears throat> try this out. I also uh, purchased this sort of blade, uh, multi-purpose cutting wax, specially formulated to extend tool life and reduce chip welding. So I read that this is a good option to put on um, the blade here. You apply it directly to the spinning blade very carefully. 
So we're going to do that and see how this cuts this. So after slicing up a bunch of aluminum, everything from eighth inch to quarter inch and even hard drive cases, I have to give this a big thumbs up. I am super happy. No buyer's remorse. Uh, this tore through this pile, no problem. Uh, you definitely need to have your shop vac hooked up to this because aluminum flakes go everywhere. And there's a couple other little minor issues, but overall, I can't complain for the cost. Got this on sale, uh, free delivery. Uh, so Evil Twin X is very happy with the Craftsman 10-inch bandsaw. If you guys have any questions on how to set it up or anything like that, I can uh, fill you guys in. But overall, I hope you found this informative and fun and most importantly, Evil Twin X still has all his fingers. First time using a bandsaw. See you later, guys. Evil Twin X, signing off.